I can't talk you out of going seals with all those numbers you sent me. I'm not gonna sit here and say, All right, folks, we got a good one tonight, boys. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody banging me on cross country and swimmers. It's the facts, Jack. Buds does not like cross country runners and it doesn't like swimmers, okay? I know a lot of y'all are down on the video, but that's just the point, okay? It's tough, it's hard, it's gritty, it's grimy. The swimmers don't like to not breathe in the water and the runners don't like when they can't run because they all beat up and they skinny, okay? It's the facts. Listen, we got a gem today because I got a guy that's getting it done right now. I hope you enjoyed this interview as much as I did, providing this young man with some help. I'm almost positive he headed down that Navy SEAL track. All right, big dog, you crushing it. What do you got? What are your questions? I emailed you about the PDF like last week. Just yeah. wanted to try it out and it wasn't difficult or anything. Like did it fine. But so based on like my times and stuff right now, like, would you say I'm ready to go talk to like recruiters and stuff? And absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You swam a 105 and your last lap was a 118. You absolutely ready to go. Have you timed your four mile? I haven't done like an all out four mile, no, but I know. What are you running four miles in? 28 minutes, 27, 30? I could easily do that. What are you doing five miles in, six miles? For regular runs, I'm doing like seven minute per mile pace. Okay. Like if I were to do a tempo run, yep. a good like solid pace, I could hit six minute, 550. Okay. That pretty easily. All right. I assume that I'm looking at your numbers over here. I'm going to bring them on the screen. Like you run an 800s and 69, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's about as good as it gets. Like I've had one dude in the 59, 60s, but you run a 75s. <laughs> like you did eight, eight by 800s. Those are awesome, bro. I did that speed work or the speed tree the other day. Like yesterday was the first day I did it. I didn't get as far because I was like feeling it out. I didn't know how hard it would be necessarily, but the second time I tried it, I felt amazing. Got, I think, three over three and a half miles. 3.57? 3, 3 yeah. So this is what I'm going to tell you. You're ready to go physically, right? So I don't how long have you been training? For the last two months or so. Okay, like, so that's what I want to hear. Okay, I don't want to hear you've been training for four years. No, I hadn't swam in over a year. I was just super comfortable in the water, and I was able to get back into it, like, really quickly. Okay, like, what's your athletic background? Mostly like triathlon kind of stuff, like bike, run, swim. Okay. I've done like a little bit of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and stuff like that. I haven't ever wrestled competitively, but I've trained with them, but I've never done any competitions or anything like that. So you got a, a just a general all around background. You did triathlons. Mm -hmm. yeah, like these I mean, numbers was, are representative of a triathlon dude. Okay. I, mean, I was state champ in mountain biking for like a couple years in a row. Okay. And I swam and ran my last two years of high school. So everybody's going to be on me because I'd be saying all the swimmers and runners quit. Yeah. I'm just telling you, but you're not a swimmer or a runner. No. That's the thing that everybody is like losing their minds about. I'm like, look, man, the dudes that just run or just swim. No, like I love doing it all. Like I've always been the kind of like kind of person who just wants to try everything like hey, athletic wise. What do you want to do? Seals. Okay. Now let's my, talk about what this. I want to do. Let's talk about it, right? Like, you want to go SEALs, okay? Right now, out at Bud's, uh, I'm not even going to – I'm just going to say what it is. I don't necessarily know how dialed in they got it. They just had a couple kids die last year, and they've turned right. it into just crazy witch hunt on testosterone and all this dumb shit, okay? And they've got – the classes are back up now. They're not down in the teens anymore, but it's still mm – -hmm. I think there's a lot of luck in it. I don't oh, think yeah. you can just show up and I'm sure there's a couple guys crushing buds, but I mean, there's two Naval Academy guys. They got held out for drugs, right? Yeah. But they don't know what it is. They just saying they're on testosterone because they have high T levels. So the chances of them two dudes knowing what I know about where they're at, not necessarily that they're coming from the Naval Academy, just mm. that everybody understands the game and they come in such good shape. There's no reason for them to do anything. So there's a lot of kind of turmoil down there in that sector. OK, now I'm not saying like with your numbers and your background, you want to go ahead. Just mm -hmm. understand this. If you don't make it, you're going to be doing some dumb shit in the Navy. Be fucked for six years. No, I totally get it. I've been thinking about it for a while. For years, I was like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do SEALs. And then like after I started watching your videos, I totally make sense. Like with the 
army route and everything. It's just like whether I go with my gut or I go with like my brain. I can't talk you out of going seals with all those numbers you sent me. I'm not going to sit here and say, I think you should go in the army. I just think you got to understand the risk that you're taking. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand I, it. Like it's not I a. I completely understand the risk. Yeah. And I tell everybody, like, I think you're going to be a prime example of somebody that you got to make a life decision, right? Okay. Am I going to be okay? I'm going to give everything I got to go be a seal, period. Am I willing to die? Okay. Did you watch the swimmer from Tennessee? Yeah. That's the kind of stuff. Like I tell everybody, man, like our number one mantra is I'll die before I quit. Like I passed out in the swimming pool. You know what I'm saying? I didn't care. I know right, I was yeah. I know I was blacking out for a solid 10 minutes. Okay. But I trying to pass the best I could. All right. I didn't worry about the consequences of not being able to see anymore in the black. I just kept pushing. And somehow I was able to pass. All right. Those are the kind of deep, dark questions that you got to ask yourself. Yeah. If it was 10 years ago, I've had people in buds since 08. Okay. Yeah. And it just is a lot different now. The community is tightened up. They don't have a bunch of people at war. There's not a lot of attrition. Like they're not doing 15 combat deployments in six years. It's slowed down a little bit in the community. You just got to make a decision, right? If you went in the army right now, you would go to Ranger. You go to RASP. You'd screen coming out because you're going to destroy everybody in boot camp. That's all it takes. And then you're going to go to RASP and you're going to destroy that. You're going to end up in a Ranger battalion. And me personally, like I just think the Ranger battalion is going to go. They're getting it in. Like the Navy SEALs really don't get it in unless there's a war going on. I'm not saying it's better or worse. I think there's a lot of the same training. A lot yeah. of the stuff is the same at this point. The Rangers are doing a lot of DA shit. They do a lot of cover for CAG and for Dev Group. I don't know how much blocking force they're doing now. They got some SR units and some other shit that are still working. I don't know. You just got to make a decision. Yeah. I don't think either one of them is going to be necessarily physically that bad for you. But you just got to try to figure out what you want to do. And then you take mm -hmm. your shot at the Navy SEALs. And I'll just tell you, you better have your fucking balls wired tight because... It's super tight out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got five dudes that just got done with Hell Week. They're fucking killing. It. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it can be done. Got some dudes in SQT right now. Got a couple dudes in third phase. It's not that big a deal. Okay. It's just a roll of the dice. Ah. Uh, in some ways, I guess. I I'm going to give you an example, man. I seen a dude shot out of a boat, lawn dart into the berm from 75 yards away. It was the craziest cartoon shit I've ever seen. Broke his whole back. He came back six months later and graduated, okay? Oh, really? He graduated? Yeah, he graduated. But I also saw a dude get his leg broken in half. He didn't graduate. Okay? I saw a dude tear a hamstring. He didn't graduate. That's always going to be the case. Yeah. Well, some of the shit, like sight, some of that stuff, like, I don't know. It just is what it is, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of questions you have for me? From talking to recruiters to, like, shipping out on the SEAL path, like, how long does that usually take? You might be able to get to basic in two months. Like, I would go in to see the recruiters tomorrow. Like, you could take yeah. a PST in two days and destroy it, correct? Yeah. So then go see the recruiters tomorrow. Say, hey, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? They're going to say, I, we don't believe you. They're going to send you to MEPS. Be ready to go to MEPS immediately. Okay. I'll tell them, hey, man, where's the dive recruiter? I'm ready to take a PST immediately. I'll tell you this. Don't say shit. They're going to say, you're not ready. You can't do it. Just, hey, get me to the dive. As soon as I get out of the maps, I need to get to the dive motivator. I need to take my test. Okay. And then when you go take the test, I tell everybody, you show up, you murder the test, you get back in your car and you leave. Okay. Don't do nothing. Don't try to talk to the dude. Just, hey, appreciate it. Thank you. Get in your car and drive away. All right. Okay. They're going to try to make you go to workouts with them. I'm going to tell you, I wouldn't go to no workouts with them. Okay. I just tell them, look, I'm not working out with y'all. All right. You're going to throw down a blister. What's your mile and a half time? Like 8.30, 8.15? Like all out without just if I was fresh, I know I could do it in about 7.30 with like the swimming. I could do it in what about, eight, really. Eight minutes. What about the swimming? What are you going to do the swimming in? I don't know about with the side stroke, but I assume like mid eight. Okay. So all day. Okay. All day. So as soon as you do that, as soon as you throw those numbers down, it's over. They're going to be calling you saying, hey, let's go. When you go to the recruiters, you tell them I'm ready to go right now. Okay. Okay, but then you got to be ready to go. Don't start pumping your fucking brakes. You're fine. You're already running 60 miles a week. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about all of the stuff I'd normally be worried about with a guy 
not enough volume, not enough this, not enough that, you're doing fine. Have you been rocking it all? No, I was just about to ask you about that. I have like a little bit, but I don't have a good rucksack right now. And like, I can't make it more than eight miles with mine or it just like tears down on my shoulders because it doesn't have a hip. It doesn't you have, just have a backpack. It's, it's technically a backpack, like a backpacking backpack, but like it doesn't have good enough hip support to really support like the weight. Okay. Just keep using it. Unless you can go buy a good one, like a mm-hmm. ruck. You can get a ruck pretty cheap. Right, yeah. There's some Army, Navy, Serpa stores around there. Look on eBay. They're not even expensive, okay? okay. You're going to use a regular old Alice pack, so that's what it's called at Bud's. A ruck ain't going to get you to quit. You can gut through a ruck. No, yeah. But, like, you running enough miles and all that other stuff. How's your neck? You been doing neck bridges? No, not really. Okay, um, so start getting on some neck bridges. About yeah. 15 minutes of that. You know what a neck bridge is? Yeah, I've seen it before. Yeah, so forward on your forehead and then on your back mm-hmm. of your neck, 15 minutes, get you start working on your neck strength. Other mm-hmm. than that, man, like, just be ready to send it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just go online. Rocket fins are cheap. They're like okay. 45 bucks a pair, okay? You got mediums, larges, and I think they got extra larges. Look in the medium and the large category, okay? okay. Get your pair of black booties. Get your pair of tri socks. You know what tri socks are. A little thin-ass triathlon socks. Wear those yeah. inside of the booties mm-hmm. and then start finning. You want to just get your ankles ready for the fin work. Right. But you're not going to have no problem passing those swims. Did I send you both PDFs, right? Yes. So this is what I'm going to tell you. Run and ruck on the Army PDF and you swim on the one. Navy. Okay. Okay, because the Navy PDF doesn't have any rucking. They've put a lot more rucking into the Navy shit, but it ain't like the Army. But it'll just help you get in shape, and you already in super shape. You get used to rucking and stuff like that. It'll take a little bit of the pounding of running off. Okay. Uh, a big deal for you right now is injury prevention. Mm-hmm. Don't do no dumb shit and get hurt. <laughs> no. Don't go out and get a DUI, okay? Yeah. Don't get in a fist fight. Like, you at the end now. You've done all the hard work. Yeah. you got to pump your brakes and make sure that you're staying in the house playing video games and out of trouble. I've had one kid get a DUI. Already contracted to go. Done. Never yeah. Everything done. No one taking <laughs> you with a DUI right now. Let me know what decision you make, whether you're going in the big green or you're going to go fucking bang on a Navy SEAL. I think I already know. You, you take some time and think about it because you're the only one that got to live with the decision.